In this tutorial video, we'll be talking about leads versus deals in Pipedrive, what they are and when to use them. Let's jump into it. The topic of leads versus deals in Pipedrive is a conversation that inevitably comes up with my communications with almost all of my clients. They don't know if they should use them and they don't know how. Now, both leads and deals are considered opportunity records. You can navigate to the leads by hitting the target symbol in your navigation bar, and you're able to navigate to the deals uh, section by navigating to the money sign. What's the difference between a lead and a deal? Well, a lead is an uncontacted and or unqualified sales opportunity and is typically used for outbound. There's some nuance there that we'll go over in a bit, but that's the simplest way to boil it down. On the other side, Deals represent contacted and or already qualified sales opportunities. Typically, they're used for converted leads and also for outbound. The key here is understanding the concepts of awareness and interest. The lead or the, the contact is not aware of your services and have not shown any interest in your services. Whereas a deal is somebody who's aware of you as a company or as a business and has shown interest in your product or service. When we talk about leads, leads usually come from a number of different sources. Usually database list, Zoom Info, Apollo, or the PyDrive uh, Prospector. They can also come from event attendee list, whether that is an in-person conference or webinars, or they can come from manual entry, typically seen from networking or from referrals. On the deal side, Deals typically come from leads that are converted to deals, right? So those opportunities that have been now contacted and pre-qualified, or they come from inbound leads. We usually see those from web forms or from landing pages. Question, why would you, you include inbound leads as deals right away? Well, typically you would include them because if it's an inbound lead, they are aware of who you are and they've shown some type of interest. But that brings us back down to the asterisk here on the left hand side with the leads. There are some companies that get a huge volume of inbound leads that are not yet too qualified. And maybe they might get 10 inbound leads, but only two of them really qualify for the products or services. If it's a case like that, where there has to be a, a heavy amount of qualification up front for those inbound leads, that's where we typically decide to push those uh, those inbound opportunities into leads first until they're qualified. But if you get a standard number of, of leads in per day, a couple, a handful, and they are usually pretty qualified, we usually just bring them down straight into the leads, or sorry, straight into the deals uh, inbox. Finally, the last thing I wanna highlight here is that deals can also come from direct introductions, not referrals, but introductions where a past or current client of yours thinks would be a good fit and also returning clients would usually come in directly as deals. So that's gonna wrap up the high level discussion on leads versus deals in Pipedrive. Obviously there's a lot of nuance and each client might have different rules that they use to decide whether they should be using leads or deals and when they should be using each. If you have any questions about this topic or any others, just feel free to leave it in the comments down below. We're starting up a newsletter that you get once per month. You can sign up for that down below. And as always, you can reach out to us uh, on our website or using our web form in the description if you think you need help with your own Pipedrive account. Please uh, hit the like button, button, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.